Hi, my name is John Humanic. Welcome to the channel. I'm so excited that you're here. Today, I've got an amazing prophecy that I received from God about President Trump, and I can't wait for you to hear it. I was in my prayer closet recently, and he was talking to me about the very things he wants to release to you. So stick around for this whole video because it's going to be amazing. One of the key aspects with prophecy before we hop into it is to know that you must pray into the Spirit to receive all that God has for you, because what God's going to reveal here today are very specific things that President Trump is going to do, and there are some general aspects that are broad-based. So make sure you receive and take everything back to the Holy Spirit so that you can understand and what you need to understand and pray into, receive, and be blessed by. So let's hop right into it. Here's what God told me about President Trump. He is my chosen instrument to bring back righteousness and holiness back to the United States. Too many years has the USA failed to live up to the expectations of such a great country. My chosen instrument will bring back the righteousness and proper alignment with my kingdom. President Trump will sift out a lot of the evil lurking in the shadows. It'll be in business, in government, and more. He will not hide like previous presidents, but rather take the fight to those who choose to align themselves with evil. Future wars that would have happened will now be prevented. You will see a growing cry against him in the hallways of Congress and throughout the country. Those who lost will not sit silent. Instead, they will move from the light back into the shadows to continue their fight against my people. Doctrines of devils will be uprooted and destroyed. Many institutions that have bled the American people will be upturned. The ABC government institutions will see great upheaval as their longstanding actions and traditions are ruined and replaced with holy mandates. My son Jesus will be proclaimed more and more throughout the country. Christians will not suffer as great as persecution as they did before under previous administrations. The meek shall rule and inherit the earth. So that's the extent of the prophecy that God released. And so let's go ahead, take a couple minutes and unpack each aspect because there are different points to what God wants to do. And I want to truly unlock the things that he said. So the very first part that God talked about is Trump. President Trump is the chosen instrument to bring back righteousness and holiness to the United States. So the thing about it is, is that there had been an aspect of the different presidents coming up to this time. And for various reasons, they've all been successful and some have not. And what you'll see here is, is that God is kind of doing a reset in the kingdom, in the United States, because what God wants the United States to be is something so much greater than it is today. That's the essence of what God wants. He doesn't want the United States to continue to backslide. He doesn't want to see our national debt continue to grow. He doesn't want to see these things because he knows those are albatrosses. And we know President Trump is going to be putting things in motion to bring back those expectations, to cut the deficit, to cut excessive spending, because you just can't keep borrowing on future money and spend it today because there's no value. All it's doing is making the rich get a lot richer and sacrificing the future for those who have to then pay it back. And so what God's going to do is he's going to realign these financial institutions, these structures, the Congress, the budget, and put these things back in order. But it's not just going to be limited to that. There's going to be so much more to it. And so you'll see these things come to pass. And that's the power of what God's going to do in this moment and in this administration. It's going to be incredible because you'll see the power of God moving forward in a great and amazing way. And you'll see President Trump sifting out the darkness because what you'll see is, is that what you'll find is with, throughout the halls of Congress, throughout the halls of the Supreme Court, business and, and enterprise, what you'll see is there's the demand elements are moving and manipulating the people in positions and power and authority. Those elements that have been operating in the light will now be driven back into the darkness to go and start and restart a lot of their plans for four years from now and even two years from now. But what President Trump is going to do is he's going to then establish structures and doctrines and aspects in government to then chase those aspects out because you're going to see that they aren't going to want to lay down their arms. This is something that is a temporary 
military defeat in their mind and that they want to move forward. And you're going to see how they're going to try to align themselves, either delay action or try to outlast the president because they're going to try to see, okay, in four years, we're going to have a new leader. And therefore, all we have to do is just outlast him. Maybe they'll come into agreement with him publicly, but not do things behind the scenes correctly. And they'll do things privately in a way that subverts their promises. You're going to see that. But we're also going to see the kingdom of God and revival move forward in a big way. God talks about the meek shall rule and inherit the earth. And that's an important thing because the meek is a combination word. What we think is meek is someone that's quiet and submissive and, and sits in the corner, but that's not the proper word. What it means in the ancient uh, Greek really means is, is you're functionally a warrior who exerts God's authority with God's grace. And so when you understand that, what you're going to see is, is that you're going to see the kingdom of God rising up in force, in power, in greatness, and it will not be stopped. There's nothing that could stop the kingdom of God. And so the gospel of Jesus Christ is going to get preached. The gospel of Jesus Christ is going to be pushed forward in an incredible way because that's what Jesus does, is he comes to bring revival, he comes to reset, he comes to be able to give people a new hope and a faith and an opportunity for a, just a great future. And you saw a lot of those things throughout the last administration just get squashed by their policies, that their, that their elite got so rich, they were abused so many different things. And you saw it over and over and over again, the manipulation in the government, the financial systems, how they took advantage of the food, of the, the CDC, all these different things just continued to continue to just work against the United States, the WHO, all these things. And you're going to see this change slowly. The Department of Justice is another perfect example. President Trump is going to go in and move with authority and power, move with greatness, and just clean house as far as he can for the next four years. You're going to see it happen. You're already seeing it happen with the countries across the world that are now completely terrified that they've been able to take advantage of the current president and the weak doctrines that he had put in place that they just they just ruined so many things. Look at what happened with the withdrawal in Afghanistan and how that went down, where people were literally clinging to planes as they were flying away because their life was so desperate that that was nothing else for them to do except do that, which is, it's so disheartening to see that. But you'll see the things that happen moving forward are going to change how all of the things with the FDA and the reset and all those aspects are going to come under fire. Everything's going to be scrutinized. Everything's going to be validated through the rules that God has put forth and done correctly, this administration is going to come in with great authority and great power and make great change over and over and over again, upturning every single thing the devil has created. Now, you will see the devil, what he'll try to do is he'll try to infiltrate the actions of the administration and actually push the change too far. Because remember, change is only good until a certain point. So you'll see the doctrines of devils, if they see themselves losing ground on one side where they can't resist it, they can't get their way, what they'll do is try to swing it so far that what happens is, is it makes everything look bad in an opposite way. Whether it's fiscal policy or overcorrection or undercorrection, you'll see that happen. So there's going to be a balance that God is going to want this government to move forward. God is going to want these things to be known to the people, but the people have to recognize that this is not a battle against flesh and blood. This is a battle against spiritual forces in high places, principalities. You, these things that are established over and over again over the centuries in these areas because what happened was is people came into sin and relinquished the, the authority in the area that they have. And so now these principalities have moved in and tried to rule over the states, over the regions, over the governments, and have caused dramatic issues. And we know that the California prophecy that was released, that that principality is going Going down. We know there's other aspects on the East Coast that those principalities are about to fall. So God is going to make a huge shift in the spiritual world, and he's going to make a big change. But what we have to do is be vigilant in our own selves, walk in righteousness. We truly have to hate sin. That's the thing is we, we have gotten so accustomed to sin and we have lost our identity in Christ. We've lost who we are. We've lost who we should be. And there are so many people that are just sick and tired of just having to pay excessively for the things that they used to enjoy. They're tired of their wages being walked back. They're tired of their finances being stripped. They're tired of excessively high taxes. There's no reason 
The United States has to have such a big budget to accomplish the things it has because all that money is doing is it's just going out into a large set of hands, but the reality is it's going into a small set of hands. And those people continue to just basically skim off the top the excessive amount of money because they're, they have this insatiable appetite for money that can never be satisfied. And that's where Jesus comes in because he can satisfy those appetites. He can satisfy those people. He can restructure and orient and move us out of these situations where we don't have to get caught up in a recession. We don't have to get caught up in a situation where there's job loss. Because when you start shifting and changing things, you're going to start moving things in directions that are causing problems in areas where you're not going to want to. But the Holy Spirit is more than enough to guide us through these steps. And so you're going to see that happen with this administration over and over again. There's going to be correction and course correction and really a powerful move. You're going to see this happen. It's going to happen is starting. It's already starting to happen now, but you're going to see it happen at the end of January. It's going to happen powerfully in February, and you will see both public and private the resistance that the evil one and everyone that aligns themselves with him will do. You'll see it very publicly in certain areas, but as that continues to get squashed, and you'll see that over the probably the first six months of that administration, what you'll then see over time is it'll go underground. It'll go into the shadows and work, whether it's going to try to delay, try to slow things down, try to just basically cause issues. And then what will happen is over time, you'll start to see God move in authority and power. And then come the end of the first year and to come the second year, those shifts in that economy will be in such high gear that they will not be able to be stopped. And with God leaving the last statement that the meek shall rule and inherit the earth, it truly means that this is the time for the sons and daughters of God to rise up and rule with God's power, with God's authority, understanding that the enemy isn't going to take a nap at any point in time. He's not going to take a vacation, but rather we have to take this, his, we have to take this back with the authority, with the power of God, done correctly, done through prayer, through repentance, through holiness, and speaking the things that God wants us to do with clarity and distinction and with hope and love. And that's what God's going to do. God's going to do it through his people. There are so many Christians that are rising up online, social media, you'll see it, you see it everywhere. The viral revival is just on fire for this world. So you'll see this happen in a big and powerful way as we continue to move forward. Promise you, you will be blessed in this time. Even if you did not want President Trump to get in, you will benefit from this administration in ways you don't realize. And I hope and pray that opens your eyes up to what's happening so you see that the truth is really there and that it had been obfuscated by so many people because they continue to fill themselves with lies and the media and the news, which is just manipulating the story but rather they used to be independent. They used to be unbiased, but now it's always some level of slant. But now you're going to see God move in authority and power in greatness, and it will be truly amazing. Thank you for watching this video. I would love for you to partner with me on Patreon. You can go to Patreon and search my name, John Humanic. There we've got three different levels that you could partner with us. Continue to support this ministry in a big way because it empowers all the things that we do to move the gospel forward in authority and in grace. God bless.